Welcome back to Let's Play Pantheon. Let's see, we're trying to get into this horrible place over here. And uh, I want to take out that spawner and I want to take it out fast. And I think, I think this will work. And I did go back to the intersection, so things might be a little fine temporary. Oh, I'm nowhere near, oh gosh. Crash. Okay, let's get away from the spawner. That was a bad plan. Dang it. Let's get these guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't want that thing to start spitting out stuff. Oh, man. Come here. Do I not? I didn't bring a dang bow. And I know I got a bow. How about a looting bow? No, nothing. Okay, actually, he's going to sit there and keep on trying to hit me. Unless... I do this, and that makes them want to path to me because they're dumb. Come here, dummies. I tricked your AI. I'm smarter than the average something. Okay, come on, track, track me, track me. Come on. There you go. There you go, you joik. Okay, I can't reach it like I thought I was going to. And there's a blaze. Let's just, okay. Let's ignore that. I don't think I should ignore that, should I? Okay, we're gonna... No. Dang it. Retreat! Retreat! Oh gosh, don't die. That's embarrassing. Am I gonna die? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's get healed up and try again. Stupid robotics lab. <laughs> oh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I know this isn't the best idea, but at least this way I should stop getting knocked down so easily. Uh, the problem, of course, is going to be silverfish. Oh gosh. And whatever's happening over there. Oh, that's hilarious. Hello, guys. I wonder if I can successfully battle them. Come on. Oh gosh. Nope. Not him. Let's see. Let's build a little... Oh, gosh. Come on, you joiks. I just wanted a little... A mini shield. That's... Is that going to protect me? It might. Oh, I got to retreat again. Gosh, dang it. Not going so well, huh? Run! Run away! Yeah, uh, last episode I said I should do this off camera. <laughs> I probably wasn't far from right. Time to heal. All right, let's uh, let's not die this time. Well, I guess I didn't die. Oh, gosh, these guys are still here, and they're falling from everywhere. Yep, and these blazes are trying to shoot at me. Let's see. I should be able to safe make this place a little safer. I think. The problem, I believe, is they're spawning way up there. Actually, I should be able to climb up pretty safely from this this end, this corner. Just that blaze is down there. I'm not activating the spawner from here, though. I wonder. Let's see. Let's just see what I can maybe get away with here. Let's come up here and get a better view of things. Ooh. There's some nasty stuff up there. That's going to be one of the problems. Doot. Doot, doot, doot. Ooh, sucker. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? Dang it. Yeah, you are. Oh, hello. Would you mind giving me some blocks? No. I guess I'll earn my own blocks here. I'll work for them. I need to get some light up there. I know that's part of the problem. I guess I don't need this TNT quite yet. I kind of wanted to use it to break the spawner. It sounds like a more fun way to break the spawner, honestly. Let's see. What can we do? Maybe we can go up this way. Doesn't seem like a horrible idea. Top off my hunger here. Pop this, and that's gonna. Yep, the blaze is gonna see where I am. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. I didn't think he had a beat on me. 
Apparently he did. That's not very amazing for me. Now, if there's somebody up there, they should be jumping down. Okay, I don't want to. I didn't want a pillar because I kind of wanted to be able to come up and down more easily. I guess if I am careful, cautious. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> he's on fire. That's why he's hurting. You're gonna be in a world of pain, creeper. One damage at a time. Ooh, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. These guys to jump down on my head. I thought they only did that in the higher difficulties. But apparently, if they're not going to damage themselves that much, there's another damn blaze spawner. Ooh, ooh, I can get it, I can get it. Focus, stay focused. Don't worry about nothing else. Perfect. Okay, that blaze is right there. Where's everywhere else? Everywhere else looks secure. I didn't even bring that many torches. Don't fall. Let's build a slightly better barricade here. Do, do, do. Nope, no thank you. If I, if I just gun it, that's never a good idea, is it? I know it's not. There's a book in here chest. I wonder, what could it be? Is it just one of the Ender Obsida removal? I know that's not what it's called. I don't think I have a choice. Let's get this stuff on my bar. And I have no regular food. See, I took just a little because I figured I was going to just jump in and jump out. That creeper is going to be annoying. Come here. Come here. You can't fool these guys like you can the skeletons, I guess. I don't know if I can make that jump. I definitely should be able to reach that spawner. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. It's, it's part way. Now I just need to activate the TNT. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay. Oh gosh, what the heck? That was like a machine gun fire. And I'm dead. No, don't be dead. Don't be dead. Ooh, I'm not dead. That's amazing. It's amazing. I shouldn't use this, I understand, but... <laughs> just in case, some unforeseen consequences. Alright, let's, let's see what we got here. We got this. We get a little more blocks. Grab some more torches. I'm feeling a little more secure, except for the fact that I'm not healing. So let's heal once more. Uh, let's actually, let's run back and get a bow. And this might be a little cheaty because what's gonna happen, I think, is the distance I get teleported away from that area and the time that I'm away from the area, I think those things kind of despawn anyway. Um, so that's a little cheaty, but I'm not doing it intentionally trying to ruin the experience. I need a bow. Bows are very, very important. And I should have one. I'm surprised I didn't grab one. See, I got this little, this real derpy, derpy setup. Let's see. Let's play the game called Where's the Bow? There's the bow. And I know I have arrows over there. I'll grab a little more. And how am I doing on armor? It's about to break. We'll grab... I'll grab a couple more chest. I'll grab a chest piece and a helmet, and uh, I'll meet you back over there. I'm bringing a golden apple. I'm going to do it. I'm going to survive this time. I'm going to secure this area. Yeah, as I suspected, everything's gone. Probably shouldn't have ate the apple just yet. That's okay. We're going to go up here. I'm going to try to stay. Ooh, man. Baby zombies. Oh gosh, whoop. That was, it's a good thing I had that apple then, I guess. I got another minute and a half of one extra heart. So it's kind of useless to me now, but w whatever. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. I need to get up here without falling down. Break these. 
think I put enough torches up here. Wrong button. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's good. And... And back off that spawner. And let's reach. Oh gosh, oh jeez. Reach, blow up. Take it out, please take it out. Oh, you sucker. Ha! That's what you get! All right, we got a little bit of place up here. We got a, this is surrounded by wood. Where does this go? The floor behind, down below. All right, no hatchet. So we're breaking this by hand. I'm gonna come over here again and look around, see what might be down there. It looks like it's all just nothingness, really. This doesn't seem to go anywhere. The zombie wants to be my friend. And if I remember correctly, mobs cannot spawn on that material. Obsidian? I think, I think. I don't like that that's a piston. Ender obsidian removal unit, perfect. Okay, now we need one more. Unless we wanted to cheat our way through. Which I don't. I don't. Don't worry. Unless. Unless I really suck. <laughs> then we'll cheat our way through the whole rest of the map. No, 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 no. I kid. And the beast. Part five. All right. That's good. We have secured this area. We have rid it of its treasures. We got one more Ender Obsidian unit. And this is an interesting device. This looks like, oh, it's a giant mech. I wish we could pilot this thing somehow, but most likely that's not gonna happen. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here and get somewhere safe. And uh, I'll see you in a short while. The Beast, Part 5, by The Lord of the Lost. The thin man inhaled, closed his eyes, and replied, The beast has awoken itself. It has invaded the machine. It has invaded the Nexus, my lord. The imposing man's eyes closed briefly before he spoke. Come with me quickly. This section is not safe. The two researchers scurried to attention and followed their lord out into the catastrophic halls. As they moved, machine seemed to roar once more, but it sounded more natural, more primal. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. So I went ahead and gathered my other, let's say this correctly, Ender Obsidian removal unit. And uh, we need three total to get through. So I'm thinking I missed one somewhere. Because definitely I was supposed to use that first one over in the other room to kind of learn the mechanic. This one I was supposed to honestly break with this one. And I'm probably not supposed to come back here, honestly. <laughs> and uh, is that light off? No, it's on. And this one I should break this one with. And nothing happened. So maybe I wasn't supposed to break that one? Because I honestly don't know where else to go. So I'm thinking, honestly, that I'm supposed to break this one next. And since I doubt there's extra Ender Obsidian removal units, I'm gonna go ahead and break this, assuming that that's what should have happened. Oh my, goodbye. No thanks. Oh no, oh no, okay. I wonder, there must be a spawner up there just, what? What happened? I was teleported. That was strange. That wasn't like some kind of trick that I'm doing. That was, oh, strange, okay. That was just what happened. 
This goes to Thatech Nexus 6. Okay, so apparently I activated this machine. Whatever it is. Oh, gosh. And I don't know that I should have. Um, but we're not going to stick around to find out what that means. We're going to just let them be what they want to be. And I guess that means we go here. But it... it <laughs> You look at my inventory, I've just been carrying stuff. I've been collecting things and collecting chests and trying to bring all the loot. So I'm gonna get this organized real quick. We're gonna find out where this goes. I'm a little nervous. Thad Techs, Thad Tech, Nexus 6. Oi, oi. Okay, so far, not terrible. Got bricks here that we could dig through if we needed. And we have everybody and their friends. No, thank you. Oop, babies. Babies are going to be annoyed. Are you? Okay, baby's gone. Creeper, don't blow. Let's get rid of these guys. We're going to melt through our sword, probably. Oh, they're pushing each other? If I go further back, I'm going to get teleported. Oh, being in a dead end is not a good idea. I'm probably setting them on fire such close quarters is also probably not the best thing to do. Let's see, it's not too terrible. Got a bunch of skeletons. Let's try to pick them off. Oh, he doesn't even know who I am. Come on, guy. Ooh, he knows. Hello. How you doing? And I gotta keep an eye and make sure these guys aren't just like popping in out of nowhere. Ooh, my aim is not good. Where'd you come from? Did you just... I did not look at you, Enderman. Don't even think so. Sword! Alright, good. Ow. Okay. Not doing so bad. Not doing so great. Yeah. You get mad. It's cool. You guys coming? They're coming. Let's get around the corner here where it's safe. Dun, 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 dun. And there's some zombies somewhere trying to break a door. And they really want me to know they're there, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Nah, this ain't so bad. They weren't there before. So, yeah, so we got some dark spots. And we definitely got some things spawning in fresh. So we want to stay kind of close to take advantage of that natural things can't spawn when you're close rule. However, then also you have the problem with uh, things can spawn when you're close rule if they're spawners. And I just ran out of torches too. Okay, we're going to do a quick retreat here just because it's so easy to do. I have coal. Do I have torches? No, of course not. So I'm going to jump over to my supplies. I'll carry some extra over with me too. I brought over a little bit of extra armor, another sword, and I, and I grabbed two, two stacks of torches. That should be enough. And since I've been away, you'd think this, this place would be a little more friendly, but apparently not. Let's just, nope. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Perfect. Come here, guys. Take these guys out, and this room should be ours. Creeper. Duck around the corner. Yes! I'm either getting better at battle, or I'm just getting incredibly lucky. I suppose I have a decent sword. Kind of helps a little, don't you think? All right. It's as if we're progressing. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. It feels good. Okay, what is this? This is to the CEO's office. That sounds interesting. And don't worry, I have every intention of checking the bottom of the well. This is to necro necrology. I believe, oh, that's where stuff was going on. In 
Portalomics. I don't know what Portalomics is. Maybe uh, dealing with portals? I know I see nothing in here. Bummer. That's a good idea. Let's uh, let's swim up here intelligently. Oh, and I think there's a, a fourth place here. Arachnid genetics. Oh, no. Oh, my my iron sword over there did have bane of arthropods. And looks like we got a book. Let's grab our book. Let's check this out. This is uh, part six. The beast was on the prowl, and there was not their lord could do. They exited the maze of dark metal halls and entered a wide, dimly lit dome. It branched into several different paths, and the thin man traced traces the names with his eyes as he passed. All oh, the names in the hall. One particular sign caught his eye, as it always did, reflecting down upon his face. Necrology. Lord Thet, he began to say. But a scream, loud, high-pitched, and absolutely blood-curdling, filled the halls, echoing from the depths of the necrology. The Lord turned to the thin man. Garfield, take Shenrin to the Misty Deep and flee. It's no longer safe here. Misty Deep. You think it's safe at the Misty Deep? I've been there. It ain't. All right, let's go somewhere that I think might be safe, but we'll be on our guard. The CEO's office. Typically, ooh, typically you would think a place such as this, bam, would, uh, you know, they, they make a little more money. They uh, can afford certain things that maybe other people can't. They tend to have higher, higher security. Man, I have destroyed his place. I hope there was, like, no important signs or clues or something of what's supposed to be going on here. Oh, gosh. That's not a happy face. No, thank you. No, thank you. Please, no more. Okay, welcome to what was once the CEO's office. Um, <laughs> not much going on here now, is there? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to decimate everything. All right, nothing there. Paper slicer, sharpness two, knockback five. The knockback five could be fun. I don't think I'll need it, but there might be an area where, almost like a puzzle item kind of, where that's very useful. So we'll have to keep that in mind. What was this? Mr. Johnson. For the attention of the CEO, sir. I wish to register a formal complaint about the recent behavior of Dr. Shev in relation to our research in the Ender Potential Development Field. Shev has, to put it bluntly, been nothing but a hindrance to our work of late, and I cannot fathom his reasons why. I must impress upon you the severity of this reluctance. We are only just beginning to understand the potential of Endermen and created a stable transdimensional passage. The extent to which the Ender's power can be harnessed is only starting to become apparent to us, and I must tell you, it's perhaps the most groundbreaking discovery the company has ever made. However, our research has come to an abrupt halt. Chev has fronted this operation to the point where we need his understanding for this. His refusal to cooperate with us has meant we can't go near the Enderman, never the fact we'd be lost to what we do if we could. The way I see it, he has two options. Pass on the intelligence to someone like Dr. Farrow or myself, or do away with his childish insolence and work with us. Sebastian, I implore you. I know Chev is an old friend, but his impertinence and selfishness is destroying everything we've worked for. Please don't let old ties prevent you and your company from making the biggest breakthrough of the century. Yours, Lynn. Oh, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing there. All right, I'm gonna put it in there for safety, and we're gonna decide where to go next, but I'm gonna think about it a little bit, because it is that time. So with that, this has been B-Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.